Today we are going to see what's inside the Washington Monument. From a very unique perspective, this is VR 180, so if you take your finger or if you tilt your phone, you can see the top of the Washington Monument. So you can like scroll with your finger. Or, or see all these flags everywhere. Yeah. But today I might look a little bit sweaty. That's because I just barely ran up the entire stairwell of the Washington Monument, something that not very many people have done. Yeah. And yes, we filmed it, and we're gonna show you some unique things that are inside of the stairwell of the Washington Monument. This has been closed for almost the last two years. So we are the first people to show you a VR experience of the Washington Monument. But even if you're just watching on your phone in a normal way, this is gonna be a really interesting video and hopefully educational. So uh, come with us inside, we're gonna go check it out. This is my first time ever going in the Washington Monument. Is it newly renovated elevator? One of the first people ever. Bye. This is it. Bye guys. When this building was complete in 1884, it was the tallest building in the entire world at 555 feet in tall. In the world? In the world. We just took the elevator wow. up and uh, it was pretty easy to get up to the top. I think we need to take the stairs down later, but yeah. open sesame. <laughs> That's tiny. Here we go. Oh, look at this. Oh my gosh. Whoa. There's the U.S. Capitol right there. The All the Smithsonian right along that side. Look at the lawn. There's like, it's a huge. That is so beautiful. There is not a better view in D.C. than that. They bring about 15 people up the elevator, and about every hour there's 110 people that can come up. Wow, this one's really cool. There's just so much water. Once we got up here, I was really surprised at how much water there is like surrounding the, this area. There really is a lot of water. If you've seen the video that we did at the World War II Monument, you can see all of the water that goes underneath and how they have like a fail safe in place that pushes all the excess water out to the Potomac. But yeah, you can see it. No wonder it's so humid here and they call DC kind of swamp land. Yeah, it used to be a swamp, but then they had to drain the swamp out into the river. Yeah. What's crazy is this building is like tighter at the top than it is at the bottom. It's just the way that it was built because it was entirely made out of stone. And if you look up right now, you can see all of that stone. You can see, you're in VR right now, so turn yeah, your phone or just look up with your headset. And you can even see the red light that's blinking so that airplanes can see that um, this building is here at nighttime. Yeah, The light looks crazy. ginormous from here, but it's actually outside. You just see this little tiny yeah, blinking It's really light. cool too, because it's the largest freestanding masonry structure. So like the world, the world's tallest. That is crazy. So building made entirely out of stone. Yes, it has a few little, maybe there's a tiny bit of concrete in, inside of these pillars that were put in later, but there's really no concrete in the rest of this building. Yeah. It's just made out of stone. You're now looking at what is probably my favorite view, the west side. I mean, we filmed two videos about these right now. If you want to go watch them, they're in the link below, but we did what's underneath the Lincoln Memorial, and which is actually really interesting, yeah. what's underneath there. And also what's underneath the World War II monument, which is right there. This is like the best view ever. Look at this. That reflecting so cool. pool is huge. The people that are walking alongside of it look like ants right now. Right now we're in like the pyramid looking part of the top of the Washington Monument. And this is what you see. These are the only windows. They're yeah, these small you, windows. Like if you come here at night, you can see a bit of white inside of these, which they look so small. This is it. But it's enough for you to have a really nice view that you can look out and see things from up here. Yeah. An interesting fact about the Washington Monument, on August 23rd, 2011, there was actually an earthquake that was about 90 miles south of here, 5.8 earthquake. Wow. And but up here at the very top, they could feel it and they were the people were kind of thrown about and they actually fell down to the they fell down, like not down down off the thing, but they yeah, like, like fell to the ground up here. Yeah. There were some visible cracks that were put into the building. They wow. did go and they fixed up all those cracks. Obviously there's some things in place that make it a little structurally stronger than what it was back yeah. then. So it should be safe. It should be okay up here. Yeah. But interesting piece of history that there was an earthquake that um, I would have liked to be up here for that. Oh yeah, that would be so cool. <laughs> so this is a really small space. It's smaller than I thought up here, but there's eight windows, really, really good air conditioning. With four amazing views. It looks, this is the best view. If you're going to DC, it so it's the best view. You have to wait in line for this. It's amazing. Yeah. But now we're gonna go down the stairs into the next room that's below this and see what's down there. I already know there's no windows because you can see it from the outside, there's no windows. Yeah. 
But um, this is the second place that you would go. Really right like here. it's an exhibit hall. construction of the Washington Monument started in 1848, but after about 20 years, they stopped. They didn't have funding for it anymore, and it just kind of sat for 22 years, just sat there as a half-finished building. So when you had this Washington Monument that was like not even halfway built, just sitting there for 20 years with no progress being made on it, it kind of made Washington look bad. Like, is this country really progressing? Is it really a strong country? And so finally the National Parks took over, they raised a bunch of money, and they went to build it. But the tricky thing is, the quarry that they used that was just here in Baltimore, it went out of business and it wasn't there anymore. And so they tried to use a different quarry, but the stone was different colors. And why that's interesting is like, you can even see that right now. If you're outside and you come to DC, even if you don't tour this and go to the top. You can see like the first 150 feet or something like that. It's, um, you can see that it's a darker color than what's above that. It's yeah. two different colors. So there's kind of the history with it. If you've been following our channel for a while, you might remember that I have this weird goal of running the stairs of the tallest building in every state. We haven't said that in a while. No, it's been a while. We did Hawaii one time and we showed that we ran the tallest building on our family channel. But I've never even considered running the stairs of the Washington Monument because... Yes, you are not allowed to go up the stairs. No, look at this. Where's the alarm will sound? There's probably like security guards in there. Yeah, you don't you want to mess with the stairwell. You can see a fire exit and then there's the stairwell through this. Yeah, there it is. One interesting thing about the stairwell is that there are 193 stones that are from the bottom to the top that are commemorative stones. Because back when they were building it and they were looking for funding, they asked from funding from people and they said, send in a stone and some money and we can put your plaque inside of the building. So cities, states, civic groups, and even countries sent in stones and funding that were then placed within the stairwell. We have some friends at the Department of the Interior and uh, they decided to hook me up and hook you guys up with a very strange request. We are actually going to go up the stairs of the Washington Monument. So you can check that off the list. One day you will be able to. Do you want to go with me? Do you want to go up the stairs of this entire building? You're so sweaty. Yes, the answer is yes. Okay, we're at the bottom. This is the stone from 1848 that they originally put in here. I think this is the oldest stairwell you've ever been in. This is definitely it, guys. Yeah. I can't believe we get to do this, but we're gonna find some plaques, and we're going to maybe not run up the whole thing, but um, we were gonna walk up and get up this whole stairwell and she find some of those plaques. All right, we are on the first platform. Here's Arkansas. Stones 
need to be three foot by five foot, but of course there's gotta be a few states that just wanna break the rules to show how big and how great they are. Yeah. And the winner for the entire Washington Monument in that category is New York. Look at New York. I almost said New York City, but New York is ginormous. This yeah. is so big. Look at that. There's not one bigger than this anywhere. <laughs> of course, leave it to the state of New York. Yeah. It's like what a really cool, like, beaver-looking guy with yeah. funky teeth on it. City of New York, thank you for this. This is a key moment. Um, we are at 140 feet right now, but if you remember from when we said earlier that this thing was shut down for almost 25 years because they ran out of funding, and then they started rebuilding it again. Well, this is that point where they stopped. About 150 feet up, you can see right here along this line, everything below it is 15 feet thick, and it's made out of this stone that they just kind of cut with their hands. Yeah. Like if you look on some of the edges, look at these cuts. They're not very cleanly cut. It's just hand cut carved stones that they just threw in here. But if you notice, the walls kind of go and they start going inward right there. Well, what they realized is after 25 years and they decided to start rebuilding this thing, they decided that if they continue with 15 feet thick all the way up, it's just gonna collapse on itself. So it actually made more sense to make it more narrow. And when you get up to the top to where we were with the windows, it's actually only 18 inches thick of walls right there. So it just gets narrower and narrower as it goes up, so it's not quite as heavy. Okay, we made it to one that is, uh, it's home for us. We are from the state of Utah, and they're one of the only ones to have two plaques in here. And originally they had this one made out of limestone, which was not the smartest because limestone kind of crumbles. But you can see the honeybee right there, like the beehive. That's this, like on the flag of the state of Utah. And I'm really happy that they did put the Oreo, the Oreo um, brick right here for Utah. Or granite, as other people call it. Same thing they made the temple. It out looks of like, yeah, it looks like Oreos. Oreo cookies. Yeah. I think this is a good point for me to accomplish my goal of running to the top of the building and then running back down. Give me a few seconds while I run to the top of the building and back down here. I did it, I made it to the top. It was about 490 feet. It's not the full 555 that's the top, but I did it, am I sweating? Yeah, I'm sweating. I ran the stairs. If you wanna check out what I'm talking about, runstairs.com is actually my website where I run stairs. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what's inside that the was Washington so cool. Monument. All those plaques and just that was, the view up there was so cool. Unbelievable, if you're ever in town in DC, make sure you check it out. And big thanks to the National Park Service for giving this opportunity to see it. There are our public lands all across America that you guys can visit. They're public lands, they're your lands. Take the time to check them out and tour it and see the history of this great nation. There are some amazing places around. It around was great. And let us know what you guys thought about the VR 180. I'd like to make a couple more videos with this. I think it's just such a cool way to see stuff. All right, see ya. Bye.